Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Enthusiast Experiment Pencil Edition. Let's get into it, shall we? So Mitsubishi pencil made in Japan. Ah, there it is. Uni Star. 2B Uni Palette. Designed for students. Beautiful blue pencil. Let's check out the packaging because I do have it. There you go. Comes in a pack of three. 2B. And pretty simple, straightforward packaging. Really nice and clean design. You know, just grab it and go. So let's get the book out here and see how it did. So this is the Uni Palette, Uni Star N2B. Uh, again, couldn't find confirmation, but you know, all pencils have graphite. But again, anything with a question mark, I couldn't confirm. So I just like to tell you, but I'm assuming it's graphite. Definitely, we know it's 2B as it's labeled right there. Wood, again, I couldn't find anything online. All I know is that it does, does smell good. So I would assume it's some type of cedar, instant cedar, and you can definitely see there is a really nice wood grain there. So it's definitely not crappy wood. See how the graphite centered pretty well. All right, the body is hexagonal. It is a blue body with silver print and uh, what I'm assuming is a name box. So you can see that beautiful blue and silver print. And then you have the same thing, a little bit of silver printing here. And then you have this chunk here which I would assume is where you could put some type of marking for your name. I'm not 100% sure. If you do know, please let me know down in the comments below. But that would be my quick guess if I had to make an assumption, being as this is for students. You know, you don't want to get your pencils mixed up. Um, and no feral, no eraser. It is nice and in cap there. So I like that a lot. Uh, the price that I could find is 162 yen for the three pack here that you just saw the packaging of, and they originate from Japan. The erasability test, we did that little, uh, laid down a little graphite in both directions and erased with the uni boxy as there's no, or sorry, the boxy eraser as there's no eraser tip here. Did fairly well. Smudge test, again, wrote test and did a little smudge with the finger. Did pretty well there too for a 2B pencil. And then you can see shading uh, did pretty well there. So some of the pros, again, that erasability did a pretty good job. The smudge test did a good job there too. I like that the uh, graphite in here is very smooth and dark. Again, being a 2B pencil, you know, you kind of expect that, but still it's nice that it holds up. Uh, I really, really like the design and the color. I love that blue. It's just a really, really deep, beautiful blue. Uh, I really like the silver accents. It's nice and clean. Um, back to that too, there's no barcode. Yay, that's so awesome. Uh, as mentioned before too, the wood does smell really good. So when you're sharpening this pencil, it's one of the ones that, you know, lets off a nice fragrance. Uh, and it does a pretty good point retention too for being a 2B pencil. It actually holds a, a point pretty well. So some of the negatives, uh, that USA availability is cropping up a lot with some of these other pencils we're coming across. But, you know, if you can find them, that's awesome. These were a gift uh, actually brought back from Japan from a friend of mine. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and again, maybe a little bit too much writing on the pencil. And I think that might have to do, you know, with the Made in Japan down here. This side is cool, but maybe all of this right here might be too much. If it was just this, that's really clean. Uh, and there's not another 2B marking, which is kind of a bummer. But then you also have the giant name thing. But I like it because it's really unique to this pencil. But, you know, design choices. And then uh, not as much a variety in the tonal range and the shading. So you can get some really nice darks, um, being that it's that 2B. But again, for me, it's kind of that... It darks into the slight dark mids, but not much in the mid to light. So, you know, you guys can probably do a lot better job again at shading than I can, but that's just the line that I could lay down. So get that out of the way. And let's put it in the book. So we'll call it the Unistar palette. Nice and smooth and definitely dark, which you could see there. Does a pretty good job holding up to the rest there. Still not quite as dark as that Nanodia. And the Muji's pretty dark too. But yeah, it's been a quick look at this little guy. That's a fun pencil, nice design, feels good in the hand. You know, kind of all of the boxes that 
typical Japanese pencils tend to check for me, so I'm a huge fan for the price. You know, not too bad. If you could pick them up, you can find them. Definitely recommend it. I definitely appreciate you guys swinging by, checking out the video, and I would really appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe so we can grow this together. And I look forward to seeing you all soon.